Hey everyone, Reese here with Cranberry Alarm RI3D. Today I'm going to be going over note manipulation uh, and how it's going to go through our robot and going to go over robot superstructure and kind of where our robot is right now and what more is to come. I'm going to be going over a little bit more of uh, our old intake and kind of what we moved away from it and what's changed, how we're going to be moving away from our po the poly belts previously, moving over to just a single two axle roller and how that's going to work with feeding into the shooter um, via the pivoting axle. Uh, and this is going to work to store the entire intake and um, overall just make the entire system a lot more uh, cohesive. This video on fun is brought to you by viewers like you and also in partnership with the following. Discover how Kettering University students engineer their success with Kettering's amazing co-op employment programs where students earn great pay and gain valuable experience. Those accepted into Kettering University can apply for a robotic scholarship providing up to an additional $5,000 a year in tuition assistance. Head on over to kettering.edu slash first to learn more and apply. So to go ahead and start, I'll go ahead and start by prefacing this with our previous style intake. Um, so this is what we had kind of just sitting on the inside of our uh, robot and just sitting out here and just kind of testing out some of the poly belts. Um, and our previous plan was to get this to kind of move into the robot somehow and then feed off into the shooter um, and or using an inter intermediate system or some kind of handoff situation. Um, realistically, we didn't find that to be uh, too optimal because uh, it would you know require a separate mechanism it would end up being really heavy the system did work really well however um, it was heavy and there was some efficiency issues um, and that kind of ultimately led us to the decision to kind of try out something new and that led us to the dual roller intake um, which is powered by this neo right here on a three to one which is powered by uh, max planetary um, and then that leads this entire ratio over here is one to one. So we're using 24 tooth gear, uh, 22, 24 tooth um, ACD five millimeter pulleys uh, that then drive this pulley setup. And then we use these 32, 32 tooth gears to invert the motion so that we can properly suck in the um, notes. The intake is going to rotate down like this using this Neo, which is powered by a five to one, five to one, and four to one um, max planetary. So for a total ratio of 101, which then goes through these 252 steel gears, um, which powers the entire actuation. You can kind of see that right there. And right now we're really happy with that. If we go and take a look at the slop, um, the robot, it only moves about that much um, at the worst point. And you can see when we move it right here, it's uh, pretty solid and there's not much movement. Um, the motor doesn't, uh, the arm doesn't move without the motor. So we're really happy with that. We're going to be using this absolute encoder right here to go and measure the position of the arm so that we know where the arm is at all times. Um, it'll make it really easy to program for us. And then <sighs> moving forward, we can kind of go ahead and start talking about game piece manipulation. So we're using the exact same uh, um, geometry when it comes to our uh, rollers. We use, we're using basically almost the exact same positions to go and grab onto the rollers. So, uh, But instead of going into a poly belt, we're using just the thrifty bot two inch squishy wheels um, and this is working really really well for us we're um, using utilizing this piece of polycarbonate right here which is uh, uh, i believe 16th inch polycarb and we're using these churro right here to go ahead and retain the note to keep it from bouncing all around the place um, there may be more iteration here maybe adding some more churro kind of building more of a cage um, but for now we're really happy with what we see here um, and it's just a matter of keeping on testing it and seeing where we go from there so from there, we'll go ahead and do a uh, quick test. Go and run the intake. So much better running than the poly belts. It goes in and nice, it grabs it nice and keeps on coming in and it'll come in a little oblong, which is not a really big issue. And we get a really good hold on it. Uh, if we go ahead and actuate up a little bit, kind of show what that is like a little bit. Got a good hold. It can come out. Um, if we were to hold the wheel still uh, with a little bit of torque, um, I'm willing to bet this would hold in really, really nicely. Um, but coming in from here, we have no problem bending the note like this uh, into our intake. Uh, this is something that we, we noticed that the, the notes bend really, really well. Uh, we're going to really have no issue kind of forcing it into the intake and dealing with this bend. Uh, and then that allows us to then actuate up and the note basically almost entirely straightens out which then will lead us into our next mechanism, which is going to be the handoff to the shooter. <clears throat> and that's going to be the actuate up. And well, our design here is basically, we're gonna be applying some pressure right here to apply the note up against this polycarbonate face. Originally, we just had this face right here. Uh, and we decided that wasn't enough because sometimes it would really pull in and we didn't wanna be below that. 
So we just added another polycarbonate face right here. Just kind of give the note something to ride up against. And then from there, once we're ready to, once we're aligned and shoot, and we got the wheel spinning up to an RPM, we can go ahead and just eject the the wheel or the note. And you can see there, it hands it off really nicely into the um, the flywheels. And this is going to be really important because you don't want to be holding on to the 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 note for too long while you're in contact with the other wheels because you don't want these wheels to prevent this wheel from pulling the note through. And so this should be a really, really nice handoff system for us. And hopefully when the uh, note comes through and we eject it via the intake motor, it also adds some inertia into it, making these motors a little bit more consistent and hopefully get us a really good consistent shot that we're, that's fairly reliable. This is something we're going to be continuing to test um, kind of different powers and if we need a limit switch on the back here. But for now, we're really happy with what we're seeing, just kind of pulling in the the um the note and uh yeah for now it's really secure uh thank you guys for watching don't forget to check out more videos of cranberry alarm ri3d on first updates now this video on fun is brought to you by viewers like you and also in partnership with the following discover how kettering university students engineer their success with kettering's amazing co-op employment programs where students earn great pay and gain valuable experience those accepted into kettering university can apply for a robotic scholarship providing up to an additional five thousand dollars a year in tuition assistance head on over to kettering.edu first to learn more and apply don't forget to like subscribe and ring the bell to stay up to date on our new videos Keep the conversation going and provide your input to our content. Watch our live shows at twitch.tv forward slash first updates now. Join our Discord at discord.gg forward slash first updates now. And check out Fun FTC on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And First Updates Now on Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, and Twitter.